Hi everybody, welcome back. Episode 48 of the Lake Erie North Shore Railroad YouTube channel. And uh, this episode we're going to build some trees from kits. So we're going to try it, we're going to build some deciduous trees, we're going to build some pine trees, and then we're going to compare them to the scratch built trees that we did a few episodes back. So it's going to be a pretty good episode. We're going to um, take you through how to make the kit trees, you know, do some modifications to the kit trees to make them look a bit, bit more real. And uh, at the end, we'll compare them and uh, we'll see, uh, see what you think about whether kit trees compare to scratch trees or the other way. Okay, so I'm glad you could join us. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you after we get some railroad soul. Okay, so we're going to compare uh, some kit building trees. So kits, uh, we all need trees uh, on the layout. Uh, in fact, it seems like you can never have enough trees. So uh, a couple episodes, uh, I have gone over building trees from scratch, from real branches. Now, uh, those look really, really good but they are time consuming, okay? And sometimes you just need some trees up and uh, maybe if they are in a distance or something, you might not be able to tell the difference that much. So I got these uh, kits uh, for Father's Day uh, maybe a while back. So I thought, uh, let's, let's compare the quality of the kits with uh, the quality of the scratch built trees and see if the difference is enough to uh, justify the time uh, that's involved. Now, there is a cost with these. This is uh, 35 bucks and you get 24 pine trees. And I've also got this other kit here, which is uh, six deciduous trees, same 30, you can see here. 35 bucks so I'm thinking uh, all right so together these are $70 uh, in expense and you get uh, maybe 30 trees out of this so let's uh, let's have a look at these and see what we get so let's open this up okay so we get some uh, looks like some foliage and we get a bunch of these plastic flat things uh, and a stand, which I do, I probably wouldn't use. I might use the stand just to put the tree together, and, but I uh, won't use it on the layout. Uh, we'll, we'll plant some trees in a, in a different episode and we'll show you how to do that. So I think what I'll do is uh, let's look at the other one. This is the deciduous, deciduous package. Now let's look at the pine trees here. Okay, so same thing. Get some foliage. And we get some very sort of two-dimensional 
trees, same kind of base, which like I said, I won't use. So let's go through, I'll let's see what the instructions say on these things. And then we will uh, make a few of these and maybe do some modifications if necessary to see if we can make them more realistic looking, uh, you know, quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, assemble. I'll probably start with a deciduous tree here and uh, I'll start assembling one and we'll see how they look. So don't go away. Okay, so just uh, uh, before I get started on this, I've just opened this up and had a better look at it. Of course, this is your uh, this is your Woodland Scenics uh, brand. Uh, as I said, six deciduous trees, and um, there is a sample in here which I want to show you of fine leaf foliage. So when when I open this up. You'll see that there's a, just a handful of this uh, fine leaf foliage, which actually looks very realistic. And, and so all I've done is broken some pieces off, broken some pieces out. So here's a, for instance, a, a interesting piece. Sorry about my fingers. We could, you know, you could even use that as a, as a small bush. Uh, they've got these long, type things that you can lay down and just have it look like some bushes and, and things growing amongst the trees. So I think this is uh, this is going to be very interesting. So I just wanted to point that out. So in this particular kit, the six deciduous trees, you get a free sample of the uh, sort of <coughs> fine leaf foliage. I suppose you can buy this in bulk from them. So for instance, here's another interesting piece. You could sort of have that as a bush on its own. Okay. So this is, can get interesting when we start pulling this stuff apart. And so we'll uh, pull some of this apart and I'll show you uh, maybe how we have utilized that. Um, once we get the some trees done you now just while I've got that I'll bring this over so this is the tree armitage or, or that they arm the armature of the tree that uh, now these bend so you can bend them in different directions okay to make a sort of more three-dimensional tree okay and uh, so I will do that and then I'll add some foliage to this and we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, so I've uh, bent one of these uh, trees into a more two-dimensional shape. Now I still have some areas to put foliage on here, but all I've done is used this glue, just Hobbycraft glue, Put some on a toothpick or sorry a, a, a earbud and then just spread the glue onto these little points and then apply the uh, foliage so i'm just going to put this into a holder here just to help me out a little bit okay so let's just Just dip this right in the heart like that, get a little bit on there, and then I'm going to sort of just touch it on the tips where I'm going to put some foliage on there. And I just take the foliage. Now you can use a tooth, or you can use a, a tweezer if you want on this, but these are pretty sharp, so I'm just going to slide that on. And a little one down here.
Now this glue does take a bit of time to dry. And sometimes you're going to lose, especially ones that are facing down. So you will have to struggle a bit with some of these. And then I just take the other end of the of the earbud that I haven't used and just soak up any glue that is visible. Okay, so let's see if I can get this off here. I'll move this base. Just put the tree down so you can have a look at it without too much stuff happening in the background. So there we go. Now I'm gonna, I can, there's a couple more. I see I can get one more right there. But you get the general idea. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna reposition the camera. I'll take this tree over and we'll compare it to some of the other ones that we've got up. Now, the other thing I was thinking is this, the trunk doesn't look that real. So what I might do is paint the armitrages before, or the, before I uh, um, put anything on them or shape them. I'll just paint them with a dark gray and see if that makes any difference. And then I'm also thinking that if we mixed up the foliage a little bit and it wasn't all the same color, that might be a bit more realistic. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down. Look, I, right, my first impression is it's, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it took 10 minutes maybe to make this tree. Uh, and it's, if it's positioned far back on the layout, you might not uh, notice the difference. But let me uh, just reposition the camera and I'll, uh, we'll go over and have, I'll compare it to some of the other trees we got already on the layout. Okay, so if you remember, we, uh, in a previous episode or two, we built this hill and then we put the trees uh, on this hill. Now these are, these are all made uh, with the uh, real trees, like the real uh, sticks that we picked up and then spreading the um, fibrous material between them and then putting on uh, the foliage. Now these trees were kits that, uh, that came basically already like that. I think they were Woodland Scenics kits too. So now let's just, I'll bring this other tree in that we just made. And you can sort of have a comparison so to how it looks to the other trees. Now, like I said, this one isn't completed yet, but um, I think if we paint the trunk and we use some different foliage, that may actually do okay. All right, I'll let you decide. I'm gonna just uh, paint some trunks up here and do a couple trees with different foliage and then uh, we can uh, have a look again and see how they compare and see what you think. All right. Okay, so I've uh, just went out and painted these flat gray. This is the, the product that I use, the Rust-Oleum flat gray. And I just put a very, very light coat because I I'm thinking, I don't even really care if some of the brown comes through because I've gone out and I've looked at a lot of trees and there is not one single color. So some of the, if some of the brown comes through, that's fine. Very light coat. 
Now the other thing I've noticed, uh, which was actually quite cool, is that we've got all different sizes. Okay, so that we're going to have some different size trees here. That's good. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to get some uh, different colored foliage and we're going to see if we can make these a little bit more realistic. Okay, all right, hang with me. Okay, so these have dried now pretty well. And I think they just look a little too one color gray type. Uh, doesn't look real to me. Okay, so I'm going to try something. Okay, and we'll see how it we'll see how it comes out. So what I'm going to do is take some of this Rust-Oleum uh, Satin Espresso. It's a little bit of a brown color. I'm going to mix it up, and I've got a piece of wax paper here, and I'm just going to spray a bit of this on there. And I'm going to take a small brush. And just dip it in there and I'm just going to randomly stroke the branches just turning it as I go so this little base is handy for this Just keep moving that around till it. Okay, now you don't want to get too much on there because you want to have a variety of colors. Now, if I bring this up, I don't know if you can see that, but let me see if I can get it a bit closer here. Okay, now we're starting to get a more realistic looking tree trunk now just for a comparison there is an actual stick from a tree now it's not unique it's not a solid color there's all different colors in there so we're trying to model that same look now it's a darker color tree because it is a uh, deciduous Okay, so I think we're getting close. Okay, so now I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to paint up some more. I'll let these dry and then we'll come back and we'll form the trees. We'll see how they look. Excellent. Okay, so we're ready to start uh, doing these trees. They've dried now. So I've just got out stuff that I'm going to be using here. Now it's it's all wood, Woodland Scenics Clump. This is burnt grass. This is uh, ground cover, uh, creation for variation of trees and bushes. So it's all Woodland Scenics stuff, but they have different colors, obviously. So this one here is burnt grass. This is green, light green. This is dark green. And this is the stuff that came with the package, which looks like green. I suppose, or uh, a different shade of green anyway. We've got our glue here. We've got our tree armitage. And we've got uh, some earbuds. And then I've got just this piece of cardboard I've bent just to put the earbud on there when, I've, uh, when it's wet with glue so it doesn't run everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to reset the camera. And then we're going to start. We'll go through and uh, do a few of these trees. We'll see how they come out. All right. That's the exciting part. Hang in there. Okay, so we've started off. I'm going to uh, show you how I do this anyway. I just start usually in the middle. I start bending these just one way and then the other. Kind of give it a more... three-dimensional look. And right now, 
mind just randomly doing them just to see how it's going to look. And then I'll go back and touch it up. Okay, I think this one, I'll bring this one back a bit like that. And even on the individual branches, you can get them to move a little bit. Okay, so now you can see I've just bent those. These are maybe going in the same direction. I'll take that one down there like that. Because you want to get a random yet, you know, three-dimensional fulfilling shape. And sometimes you just don't know until you get the stuff on there how it's going to look. Okay, but that looks pretty good. Uh, we've got that shape now. Okay, now we just... I'm just going to zoom in a bit on that so you can see what I'm doing. And now we just take blue and I'm just going to dip that in there. Get a nice glob of glue on it so we get a nice bit. Now I usually just start Just get a nice little bit of glue on there. I'll just put my Q-tip over there on my stand. And then we're just going to start loading some foliage on there. And right now I'm just randomly loading it on using different colors. Now that glue does take a bit to dry. It's not like hot glue, but I don't like using hot glue on these. It just, there's too many webs. Okay, so we're getting those on. Set that down for a second. Just get some more glue here. keep this in the frame for you and then the other end of the q-tip you can save just to soak up any extra glue that's there that you don't want showing So you can see how that's starting to come along. And I'll do uh, one more branch and then I'll click off, finish the tree and come back because you, you don't need to see me do all this. I don't like the fast motion stuff that some of these guys do it's very nice you know it's very uh, time saving but i don't myself i don't like it so i don't do it for you guys now if you feel differently about that then let me know because i'm always open to ideas and you will have some of this stuff fall off. Don't, don't worry about it. You just put it back on. Now in the actual directions, they say just to put the glue on and dip this in, but that doesn't really work too well. So there we go. I'm 
just going to let that set a minute. But you can get the idea. I'm using different colors now, so let's see if we can get that more realistic. Okay, so I'll come back when I've got this uh, completed and we'll see how it looks. All right, so it's about, I would say, 15 minutes it took me to do this. Here's the tree. Just going to turn it for you. Okay. And I'm just going to bring in the last one we made here. Try to zoom in and see if we can see. Oh, I can see this one's a little. So the, the one that we didn't paint right here is a little shiny. So what I might do is get a brush and just go in there and take that shininess off. The one we did paint, well, there is a little bit of shininess on that too. That's probably a bit of glue. Now let's just see if we can get even closer. So the trunk on that one looks pretty good. Trunk over here. Look, it's hard to it's hard to tell the difference. But uh, for kit trees, I think they came out quite well. And I'm going to, uh, we got four more of these, so I'll uh, put those together. And then I'm just going to set them up on the, uh, on the layout. So you can have a look at how they look uh, on the layout. Okay, so you got the idea of how to build these now. And uh, it's totally up to your creativity, how you move the branches around and how you want the trees to look. Um, but uh looks pretty good for for a kit so there's you know for six of these trees it's uh, you know 40 bucks and the time involved is quite minimal i mean we we did paint this one a couple times to get that more realistic color but i would say they're looking pretty good now i'm gonna finish these other trees and then I'll put them all up on the uh, layout and you can have a look, see what you think. Okay. And uh, any comments, please put them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new stuff to help out. So uh, don't go away. I'll be back and we'll uh, see the rest of these trees. Bye-bye. Okay. So here are the six trees there. I'm just set them on the layout. Just so you could get an idea of what they will look like. Um, there's no underbrush or anything, and they're sitting on their uh, sort of fake stands, but I can just gonna try to zero in a little bit so you can see how they look. And just don't focus on the stands because when we plant these for good, those stands won't be there. And there'll be some ground cover and this isn't where the trees are going to go so i just wanted you to see how they look and uh, you can give your opinion in the comments uh, look that's uh, 40 bucks worth of trees probably an hour to maybe an hour and a half to put them all together so is it worth it or should we just make trees by scratch? Now, I think if we intersperse these on our other trees, it's going to look uh, fairly good. Okay, so I'm going to, sorry about the dizziness here. I'm just trying to give you a look from three dimensions of how it's going to look. Try to get in close on one of these trunks. 
Okay, so it doesn't look too bad with that painted, the way our painting technique on those trunks. Now that's the original tree. These are the other trees that we've painted out. You can see it. Look, it does make a difference. That tree to that tree. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to get on to, we'll, we'll call this, we'll wrap this one now because it's getting a bit long, but we'll go and we'll do the other trees in another episode. Okay. So uh, don't forget to, uh, Make some comments in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And don't forget to like the video if you like it. Okay. See you next time.